Hello friends, it's me Abhishek Gupta from Thanks Computer World and today I'm going to show you 5 easiest way to find your uninstalled driver and install it in your system. Thanks Computer World First option, let's see where do we find drivers. For that, right click on my computer Go to manage, click on device manager, it will show the number of devices attached in your PC and the drivers. So here I have already installed all the drivers so I will show you anyhow how you can identify. See this is display driver, you can expand it. So NVIDIA graphics card is installed in my system so by default NVIDIA GeForce 9500GT driver I have installed so if you want to update this driver suppose that this driver is not available then you will get some yellow mark triangle you will get with exclamatory sign so on that time you can just right click this particular driver click on properties click on driver here you can see as I have already updated driver so here I am able to see this rollback driver options means once you click this it will install your earlier version but I don't want that so I will not click in this so click on update driver if you want to install or update the driver. First option you should do search automatically for updated driver software. So it will, it will automatically identify, sorry it will automatically download the driver from Microsoft server. But I will show you some different options. If this option doesn't work you can select this browse my computer for driver software. Here we select let me pick. Here you will show some driver list which is available means which already installed in your PC or uh, it's not installed but it's inbuilt in your PC. So here we see NVIDIA GeForce this is the latest version which I have installed. This is the old version and this is Microsoft basic display driver. So I want this. So click on next. Here we see my driver is installing. As we see now, Windows has finished installing the driver software for this device. Just close it. Close it. After closing this, just restart your system to for the installation to complete. If you are not able to install driver or if you are not able to identify the driver from this device manager, the next option which we can use is use driver pack solution. I am telling you this is the best software we can easily identify all the drivers in your system and easy to install. This is the software I will show you its driver pack solution. You can download it from internet. So double click this driver, click on yes. Here we see the software is scanning hardware and looking for matching drivers in driver packs. So wait for some time, it will automatically identify the number of drivers which can be updated. See here we see update all options, just click on update all. This driver identified this extra third party software will be there like DirectX, this I don't want this so click on update driver. Here we see it's identified two drivers. DP, MISC, I don't know what driver it is. So if you want to update it, just select this option what you want to update and click on start installation. It will automatically install the driver in your system. So it is the best option which you can try. If you are not able to install or if the uh, driver pack solution is not able to identify the driver, the next option I will show you what to do. So but it better you just try this option first. The next option is use driver identifier it's also one of the another application but it is used to identify the driver and but you need to download it from internet which driver you want so i will show you just go to google type driver identifier open it here you see the option download so just click on download driver identifier it's a free software here you see the driver identifier is getting download.
yeah it is downloaded successfully just click on show in folder here we see our file is here driver identifier just double click it so just install this software click on next accept the agreement click on next Here you see the driver is successfully installed. So just close it's not required. Launch the driver identifier. Click on finish. It will automatically start your driver identifier. Here you see it's asking for a scan driver. So just click on a scan driver to automatically identify the drivers. Here you see it's identifying our system drivers. So just wait for some time. It will take only 30 seconds. That's all. Now it successfully scanned our driver. Now it will pop up in uh, our latest browser which drivers are required or which drivers you it's required to update it's your wish whether you want to update or not it will show you you just select which browser you want to open it here we see the list of drivers available and the list of drivers which we can uh, do update in this you see these are the drivers here you see nvidia geforce in the, for this driver updates are available for this realtek pci driver and usb realtek usb 2.0 cardio driver these all drivers are available to update but in this what it says see these drivers are already installed but if you want to do update you can click on update and suppose just imagine your drivers are not installed in your pc on that case it will show you download options and here you see good it's mentioned good means the, the updated drivers are already installed in your pc so if you want to do update or if you want to download just click on update or download options are available if it is not there in your system so just click on download and install the driver this is the another best option from which you can easily identify and install the driver in your pc the next option from which you can download the driver or from which you can identify the driver is same you go to device manager as i show you click on right click on my computer go to manage click on device manager this is the one way i will show you the shortcut how you can directly come to these options just click it go to run type dev mgmt dot msc it's device manager here you see you can directly come to this uh, driver list so in this suppose that you want to install some drivers or some drivers are not available suppose it's network driver it's real talk pci fe family controller so in this just right click this go to properties in this you click on details here you select hardware id in this it will show you the hardware id just copy this id and open google in this you paste the id it's a unique hardware id so just click enter here you see the list of uh, links came here for that particular driver here we see it's also showing driver identifier which i have already showed you so you can easily select any options means uh, multiple links will be there but it's little difficult but uh, you can download it from internet so like this you can easily identify the driver so guys today i have shown you the best and the easiest way to identify the driver of a pc if you like this video please hit the like button and you can click here to subscribe to my channel thank you very much thanks for watching this video i will see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye